Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another what I eat in a day health vlog style video. I'm still trying to figure out what to call these videos. Hope you don't mind. I have been really enjoying filming them and editing them and it's just been kind of fun to share a little bit more without feeling like I have to do specifically a vlog and specifically a what I eat in a day. I'm really sorry if you can hear any weird like background music. Chris is having a shower with the speaker on right now. Uh, so I do have to make this like a little bit quick. Saturday, I, by some miracle, happened to get my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I'm so excited. My province decided to do like four months between each dose of the vaccine because we just were not getting the supply and their goal was to just get at least some protection in as many people as possible. So my second dose was booked for like sometime in the middle of July, but they actually um, have accelerated things because we're finally getting doses in the country and I was actually able to get mine this past Saturday, a month and a half early, which I'm just like so relieved. But I will say the first dose, I didn't really experience any, any issues or any like symptoms or anything like that. But the second dose really kind of knocked me on my ass yesterday. Um, I had a lot of fatigue, a lot of body aches. Your classic, like, if you had a fever um, kind of situation, but without the actual temperature. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a temperature. I didn't get, like, chills and things like that, so I never really took my temperature. But basically everything around that. And I went to bed feeling pretty crappy. But Tylenol definitely helped. <sighs> Today I'm feeling a lot better, but still just not, like, quite back to normal and it's kind of coming in waves so that's why i just took some tylenol because i i just needed a little bit of extra support i am actually going out in just under an hour i have an allergist appointment in brantford today so we will be going home to brantford i'll have my appointment um basically what we're doing i have been working with an allergist um, for like over a year now to deal with some like sinus and breathing problems and it's helped quite a bit and right now I am taking a birch tablet, which is like a tiny amount of birch. I put it under my tongue to let it dissolve. And basically what you do is you start taking it a few months before like birch season or whatever. Um, and so it helps build your body up and get used to birch so that you're not having like an allergic response to it. So one of my biggest allergies is ragweed and so this appointment today we're actually gonna put switch me over onto the ragweed pill so I, I will test that out at the office today make sure I don't have any issues and then I'll be able to take the pills home and I'll be taking those all through the summer and then hopefully when September hits like the peak of ragweed season I will uh, be a little bit more like desensitized to it so that's what's happening today and then we're gonna have dinner with Chris's parents and I'll show you what we have I'm really bad for remembering when I'm with family to film what I'm eating but I'm gonna try my best okay I'm gonna try my best. I am quickly just finishing getting ready. I just like had a shower, did my makeup. Um, I am just gonna like smooth out my hair a little bit, add a little bit of heat protectant spray. And then I'm gonna like relax and watch like a YouTube video until Chris is ready to leave. Just cause I was gonna try to get a little bit of work done before we left, but it's just been a bit of a slow morning because I am recovering from yesterday. <laughs> Uh, but so grateful to have gotten my second shot. Two weeks from now, I'll be fully vaccinated. I'm gonna feel so much more comfortable outside in the world, and I'm so excited for that. So um, for breakfast today, super simple and easy. I had a bagel with cream cheese and half a protein shake, had my vitamins. I just needed to get some fuel in me, and I didn't really care what that looked like. Lunch, we are eating out, so I will show you that in a little bit. <laughs> We got our Chipotle for lunch. We're just gonna drive over and grab our Starbucks and then I will show you what we got. All right, so, side of guac. I got a bowl. Chris wanted to try the new quesadilla. Oh God, give me a sec. Here's the quesadilla. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it comes like this. He got the barbacoa and then the cheese and then this. this is his sides. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, so I don't get bowls very often, but is this what they're supposed to look like? Because this is pretty anticlimactic. I mean, like there's like, a little bit of rice under there. Um, I got chicken, pico, 
uh, fajita veggies, lettuce, and then my side of guac to add to it. And then Chris got the Starbucks. He got a vanilla cream cold or sweet cream cold brew. I got a venti black tea lemonade with three pumps of liquid cane and three pumps of raspberry syrup. So since it's been so flipping hot lately, all I've been craving is like fresh, healthier, more nutritious foods. So I've been wanting like more veggies and I've been having my afternoon snack outside as like bell peppers because I just want like the cold crunch. And that is honestly a huge change for me and it's been making me feel really, really good. I'm very proud of myself for listening to my body and what I actually want. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with lunch today. I, since I don't feel the greatest, I wanted to make sure that I was getting something that was gonna fuel me and actually make me feel good because we are gonna be spending um, the afternoon later outside in the heat and I just want to feel my best. There's some spicy potato wedges, some ketchup, some ranch, lots of veggies, some fruit, got these burgers, it's a jalapeno cheddar bun with some, a bunch of onions because I love onions. <laughs> so we just got home a little bit ago and I'm having a freezy. I wrap it in paper towel because I'm a baby. This is the Mr. Freezy jumbo it's the white one almost every night right now chris and i have been sharing one because it's just like such a nice way to like satisfy a sweet tooth and just to like have a cold little treat on a summer night and yeah that's the update for now we're gonna watch um maybe a couple of episodes of the wild it's actually really good it's on amazon prime in case you want to check it out and yeah that's it for right now